Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Sam, and welcome to this video. So I do apologize that this video is a bit late because it is relating to the Slayer update, uh, which has been out now for a couple of days or more than a couple of days. Um, I've just been uh, kind of lazy, uh, not really making too many videos, just having a short break from YouTube, uh, but I am back now and ready to make some more vids. But going back to the Slayer update, um, mainly it's just been uh, more rewards in the Slayer shop. Uh, so right now I'm just chilling with Kiradel. If I go to rewards, uh, we can see what has actually been added. Now, first of all, uh, being the main one actually, is uh, an upgrade to the Slayer Helmet. And with this, it comes with some awesome new stats, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But first of all, uh, it does require some points for you to unlock, and you have to unlock it through the tiers. You can't just jump straight to tier 3, uh, that being the highest. You have to go from tier 1 to tier 2, and then tier 3. Tier 3 being 600 points, so you've got to make sure you've got quite a lot to actually do this. It might take a while, um, but you know, it doesn't take too long if you know what to do. Uh, so yeah, the Slayer Helmet is great. I actually do have the tier 3 on right now, and it's gone for a more of like a, a whitish theme instead of grey and to be honest it does look really nice I do like the look of it um, I do prefer it over the old ones so that's cool that they've done that just a nice little color change there but the main thing being the stats it comes with it uh, like I said this is tier 3 so it's got the armor of 297 life bonus of 840 the type is all and it is level 70 so it's a really good helmet to have definitely going to be good for slaying as always you know you just always want to have a slayer helmet when you're on a task just for that extra boost of them stats and percentages and all that good stuff uh, so make sure you've got it and yeah if you're a slayer i'd definitely say to try and unlock the best helmet you can just because it is such a you know benefit towards the slayer task you know you'll be able to to you know kill the monsters faster get more slayer xp and all that good stuff and it comes with a few other things as well you can right click it and go kills left and it actually tells you how many um monsters you have to kill for your task which is kind of handy don't really need a ring of slaying but um talking about ring of slaying there is another um, reward from Curadel, which you can actually add rings of slaying and also ferocious rings to your slayer helmet so it can act as a, a teleport mask as well or a teleport helmet uh, which is kind of cool uh, so if I go to learn it does cost 500 points I haven't actually unlocked this yet um, I'm kind of working on it right now I have 363 points I recently got 800 tasks in a row I got 270 points from that which is awesome I'm going to put that on the screen and uh, you know it's a big boost to trying to get this and it's going to be really helpful I do recommend um, to try and get this uh, reward as well I definitely say to get the Slayer helmet done first and then go to uh, go to this one and see if you can unlock it because that'd be great so this one you can just add some rings to your helmet uh, you can teleport around easier and that's really cool and then there's a few other things as well on the co-op section uh, you can get some new skins for your freezy pet which is kind of cool there's a jungle skin a wilderness skin desert skin and there's actually another new pet called the runstable which costs 200 co-op points which is quite a lot i'm only on 10 right now just because i've really not done too much to it um but i will work on that in the future and try and lock all of them because they do look pretty cool and i've not even seen the runstable pet yet so i don't even know what that looks like um but guys that's really it for this there's not been too much added to it um, it's just a few sort of a uh, few little changes to make it a little bit uh, easier for slayers and uh yeah i do like it uh, mainly the slayer helmet is the big one uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of uh, the Slayer update and tell me if you like it or not. So right now I've got a small clip of uh, my friend giving me some items for my collection, that being 100k cakes. That is right, he actually managed to buy 100k cakes off of the Grand Exchange, which is worth nearly 25 mil um, to go towards my collection. And that is just absolutely insane. So a big shout out to him, Usain Bolt. He's a good friend of mine and he's just a really cool guy. And uh, adding this to my total now... I have just under 400k cakes, which is crazy. Uh, it's a crazy amount of money. Um, I've added it all up and it is actually just under 100 mil um, in just cakes. I just thought I'd show that in the video because it is kind of cool to actually see that I've already got uh, so many cakes and it is just crazy because I've really only been collecting them since November uh, of last year. And, uh, you know, just to have 391k is just a hell of a lot. So, guys, that will be it for this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, peace.